Hey everyone, welcome back to this tutorial series. So in this part, I'm going to show you how to generate a rectangular planform shaped wing. It's the simplest, easiest one to create in OpenVSP. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Uh, so once you have it up, you want to go up to your geometry browser, make sure that wing is selected from this drop down list and hit add. Okay, so if it comes in on your screen, kind of in an isometric viewpoint. Make sure you can just go back up to view and then top. So you're looking at the overall planform shape. So we can see that in this one we have a wing, quite a bit of wing sweep here, as well as a taper ratio. And by taper ratio, I mean that the root cord, this distance here, is greater than this distance here. So this one's actually, if we look at our section tab, is set to one quarter so that just means that this is one fourth the distance as the root cord here so for us to have a rectangular shaped wing we know we got to get rid of that sweep and we got to get rid of that taper ratio so the only two tabs I want you guys to focus on right now within this wing menu is the plan form and the section so we're going to go ahead and start with the section tab because this is where we get rid of the sweep as well as that taper. So for the sweep, you can slide this all the way to the left to get it. Um, so now we see we actually have some negative sweep. We don't want that. Um, so an easier way is also if we, if we know exactly what a, we want a parameter to be, you can just type it in. So if you highlight it by double clicking on it, I'm just going to type in zero hit enter and now we have zero sweep on the leading edge now because we still have this taper ratio going on it's forcing the trailing edge of the wing to have some forward sweep so now let's get rid of that taper ratio we can see that we have a number of options to choose from here I want you guys to focus on aspect ratio your wing span and your taper ratio so as you fill in these white bubbles, it allows you to select those and you can see that it X's out some of the others. That just means that you only have to have three of these selected to def fully define the plan form shape. Uh, if you have a taper ratio of one, for example, which is what we're going after with a rectangular wing, and then you put a root cord and a tip cord values in, and if those values aren't the exact same, then those two are conflicting with each other. So that's why it um, either lights up or grays out some of these parameters, um, which is actually pretty helpful. So to continue to get this rectangular shape, we got to increase this taper ratio. And you can see as we go closer from zero to one, it starts looking more rectangular, right? Now, if we go greater than one, we're going to be going away from that rectangular shape. So what we want is one exactly. So again, I'm going to double click there, type in one. Now we have a perfectly rectangular plan form shape. If you guys remember, when I came to speak to you all, we looked at a uh, Vans aircraft. Um, so I'm showing you now a Vans RV-14 uh, because it does have a rectangular shaped wing as well. So I'm going to use this as an example uh, for furthering this wing design. So if we go into specifications, we can see that we're given some numbers for the dimensions of the wing. So we've got a wing span of 27 feet and a wing area of 126 feet. So I'm going to use those two parameters and go back to OpenVSP. And I'm going to input that into our wing under our total plan form. So this is total plan form. That means from this tip to this tip with the symmetry included is now going to be 27 feet. So what also we have to work with is the area. But now if we go into our section tab, we notice that the span, even though we just inputted 27, only shows 13 and a half here. And that's because under this section, 
remember we've got two different sections here because it's because of the symmetry um, so we have to double whatever number it is here and it's already done that for us because we forced it to 27 feet we see that we have a section span of 13 and a half. So similarly, if now instead of um, using aspect ratio, if we want to use the area, we can input that. So we know that the area is 126 feet. So if we input half of that now, we should be able to go back to the plan form tab and see that it's a total of 126 square feet total. Okay, so we've got 63 and 13 and a half. Okay, so now we see we have exactly 126 square feet for a 27 foot span wing. For our wing design here, just as they have in their aircraft, as you can see, the wing isn't perfectly flat. It does have some dihedral built into it. Well, you're not likely to find that in the specifications. Usually they don't get that detailed. Um, but as a general range, this might be uh, five to six degrees. So we can easily put that in to our wing. If we look at the view now from the front, to set our dihedral, we're going to be under the section tab at the very bottom. So we can verify that we do, in fact, have zero degrees of dihedral because it's perfectly flat. Um, so keep in mind also that that dihedral, if we want a total of 5 degrees, for example, we're going to cut that in half. So 2.5 degrees is going to get be 2.5 here and 2.5 here. So that looks pretty good and pretty close to what we see straight from the manufacturer's page. Apart from the airfoil, which I will discuss in a future tutorial, uh, the last thing that we'll want to do for this is to generate wingtips. So this is actually really easy to do in OpenVSP and I'm going to select all and turn the shading on. It wants to rotate about this point here and if you've got a really high aspect ratio wing that comes even further out it gets even harder to try to see what's going on right in the area that you're interested in and in this case we just want to look at the wingtip so if we hit R you can see now we have all these green dots that's allowing us to reset that rotation point so if I select this point here and then start to rotate on the screen we can see that it's now rotating about this point so that makes it easy to zoom in and out and see exactly what we're working on alright so now we're gonna go back to our wing geometry and if we go back to our plan form tab, we can see we've got this header for tip treatment. We just want to focus on really just the tip cap tight, the root cap. We don't want anything to really happen at the root here because these two wings are going to be interconnected. We're more so interested at what happens at the tip. So right now it's just set to flat and we can see that it's just a plane. Um, and there's a few selections we can do round bring that out just a little bit more okay I'm pretty happy with the way that this looks right now and you'll notice that because you selected the tip treatment for this one it also did the same thing for the other wing tip and another quick tip is that if you if this box is kinda of getting in your way you can deselect it by clicking in this white space here so that's really all that there is to a rectangular shaped wing and don't forget to save your work before we close this out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.